My name is Sam Bakhnin, and I'm the author of Malignant Self-Love, Narcissism Revisited. Charles Augustus Lindbergh, an American hero, was the first person to cross the Atlantic in a non-stop flight. This made him an instant celebrity, when in 1932 his 19-month-old son was kidnapped and murdered, the nation was appalled. Finally, a German carpenter, Bruno Richard Hauptmann, was apprehended and following a much publicized trial, was executed. The police chief who arrested Bruno Richard Hauptmann was the father of Norman Schwarzkopf, commander of the American forces in the Gulf War in 1991. The affair had many repercussions, both personal and national. The Lindberghs, revolted by the media's unrelent unrelented prying, moved to live in Europe in 1935. Lindbergh became a fan of Adolf Hitler, and in 1938 received from him a decoration for having praised the German Luftwaffe as superior to all other air forces. In 1939, upon his return to the United States, Lindbergh embarked on a cross-country tour of anti-war and pro-Nazi speeches. Consequently, he was ousted from the Air Corps Reserve and the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics. Still, when the war broke out, Lindbergh served as a civilian consultant to aircraft manufacturers. Later, the U.S. Army sent him on clandestine missions to the Pacific in Europe, but he never regained his stature in the eyes of the American public. Lindbergh won the Pulitzer Prize in 1953 for his tome The Spirit of St. Louis, and he died in 1974 in Hawaii. A kidnapping and gruesome murder of his son prompted lawmakers to pass the Lindbergh Act in 1932. From the Encarta, the statute made it a federal crime punishable by life imprisonment to kidnap a person and transport that person to another state. This law was amended in 1934, making conspiracy to commit kidnapping also a federal crime. In 1968, the U.S. Supreme Court invalidated that section of the Lindbergh Act that gave the jury the power to recommend the death penalty for kidnapping. This was one of the legacies of Charles Augustus Lindbergh.